everybody. Today we're going to be covering South Salinas. And the reason I'm really focusing on South Salinas is because it had some of the highest activity or one of the neighborhoods called Mission Park neighborhood. And it had the highest activity last month or in the last 30 days. I went back from today, June 22nd. Today's June 23rd, excuse me. Went back 30 days and Mission Park, which is the side of uh, Salinas, which is South Salinas, over towards Davis Road. So from uh, South Lane to over to Davis. So that's Mission Park, University Park area. And I thought it was interesting because overall, uh, South Salinas, the numbers there have been um, year over year, has had quite a bit of an increase. Of course, the market's changing right now. So what I wanted to talk about was that last month we had 715000 was the median price for a three bedroom. Overall, uh, Salinas has been, uh, South Salinas in particular, has been 701000 been the median price there uh, with the rolling 12 month average. So in overall, about 700000 is going to be what you're looking at for a house in South Salinas. We're still considered a seller's market, and here's why. Uh, we have 62 homes that were for sale. Of those in the last 30 days, the last month, we have 17 were sold. Uh, so that, you divide that 17 into 62, that's about four months of inventory. Five or six months is considered a balanced market, so we're kind of edging towards that, uh, kind of creeping up towards that uh, buy balanced market. Everyone's hoping for the buyer's market, right? But I feel we have an opportunity right now, and we're going to get into that as to why, because there's not a whole lot of homes available, and some of the homes that are coming on the market have been sitting. That's in general. However, Mission Park has been unique because everything there has sold uh, the majority have sold under 30 days. 15 of those uh, 17 homes that sold last month sold in less than 30 days. So still showing a very brisk seller's market um, in that area. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take a look today at three homes. There's uh, one home I'm going to leave off because we covered it in the previous video for South Stainless. But uh, let me just share my screen here. And we're going to take a look at the uh, Mission Park homes that are available as of today. So let's take a look at that. All right, so what we've got here are three of the homes. I've got all the homes here. Um, just real quick here, let me just show you. Uh, this is everything in Mission Park that is available or in contract right now. So there's about 10 homes, but we can really see that the majority are already in contract. There's only about four homes out of those 10 that are available. And one of them is kind of a commercial uh, residential care property. So I'm gonna leave that $1.5 million property out on Orange Drive. You can take a look at the previous South Slings video I had. We covered Orange Drive in that one. But let's go ahead and get over to uh, the ones I wanted to cover with us all here today were some of the better priced um, or really three homes in particular. The lowest priced one is this one here on Carmelita. Drive. It's $538,000, this one here. It's a two bedroom, two and a half bath home. These are really nice units on Carmelita, 1,397 square feet. Uh, this one's been on the market about 20 days. So again, we're seeing that some of these aren't selling as quickly as we thought, right? So what's happened, interest rates have changed. So talk to your agent, talk to your lender about some great opportunities, especially for FHA, VA, or first time buyers taking advantage of some of those government programs. But check it out. It's got, um, it probably could use some updating, of course, you know, by today's standards. But this is a nice condo built in 1976. Now, you do have a homeowners association here about $210 a month. Not bad. So uh, here we have the connections here for your washer dryer. Looks like we've got electrical for the, for the dryer there. And there's your bathroom. All in all, this looks to be in great condition. These units will have a half bath downstairs. And here you can see the primary bath. It's nice. It's got a little vanity there as well. So those will step in a shower. These are actually pretty popular right now. Uh, nobody wants to step into a tub as uh, many of, of the uh, owners are getting older in the area or just in general. A lot of the baby boomers looking for that. So really nicely done patio, very private. I think that's nice. Um, and again, the garage gives you access through the back of the house. So that's Carmelita. There's your garage there. Very nice. So that one is, again, one of your lowest priced property that you could purchase right now in Mission Park in South Salinas. So as we get over to our next unit, we don't really have anything available in the mid price range, like between 500 and you know the $900,000. We don't have anything in the $700,000 range available 
in this neighborhood at the moment. Everything else is in contract. But let's go ahead and take a look at this townhome here on Primavera. This one is $565,000. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Now this is a little smaller than the Carmelita one. It's 1137 square feet, but really a nice unit for, uh, for the area. This one just came on the market. So it's about three days on the market as of today. And you can see it's got a nice design, a very open feeling, built in 1974. Uh, this, this one has an HOA or Homeowners Association of about $385 a month. So this one seems to be a little more updated. We've got some bamboo flooring, uh, some granite counters. Looks like they've done some upgrades on the cabinets as well. Uh, looks like you've got those nice plantation shutters also. See the recessed lighting seems to be updated. That's really nice. So it's got some nice touches, you know, that make it kind of attractive in the sense that you can pretty much, it's move-in ready. And you've got all this nice little area here in the patio. Really nice unit. This looks good. Um, not too bad. Oh, I like that. Uh, let me back up there. There's a nice uh, walk-in area to the primary bath, it looks like. Nice walk-in closet. Or some extra shell. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so then there's the other bath. Very nice. So that's set up, what's one bathroom, I think, on this one. So it's all one bath. Let me back up. So we're just taking a tour around the bathroom here, it looks like. So the HOA on this condo is $385 a month. These were built in 1974. Ooh, I like this garage. It's got the nice cabinetry there. So great uh, setup there with the little workbench area in your garage. Plenty of storage. Ooh, very nice patio. I like that. Got the nice pavers in there. Um, I like the windows. They're all double pane windows upgraded. So that looks good. The fencing looks good. These are really nice. So this is a nice unit ready for you to go at Primavera Street in South Salinas. So the last one we're going to look at is almost one of the last ones available. Um, this is 1035 Kentfield. I actually like this one a lot. This is 899000 It's a three bedroom, two bath. 1,759 square feet. Now this one just came out on the market. It's one day on the market and it's really a nice lot. Um, uh, 1,759 square feet of living space, almost 1,800 square feet. Traditional ranch style, three bedroom, two bath, built in 1984. This is a Herod home. So Herod is one of the premier builders in Salinas known for their quality and craftsmanship and the, de the details, excuse me, that they put into their home. So got the nice recessed lighting, the ceiling fans. Vaulted ceilings, beautiful floors, really nice. Um, looks like they've upgraded the cabinets and the kitchen, very nicely done. Those look to be, and those are quiet closed cabinets too. Oh, that's kind of a neat little breakfast bar idea. I like that. So I like that you have the wood elements along with the upgraded kitchen. That gives it a really nice touch and kind of blends in the traditional fireplace, doesn't it? Nice vaulted ceilings in that family room area there. Big backyard, look at this. This is great for entertaining. Um, great patio there, got some, looks like a lemon tree. Some more hall pictures, very nicely done in the primary there. Looks like they had a nice walk-in closet here too, look at that. So again, very nicely done. This is beautiful. It's got the uh, dual pane windows as well. Beautiful workbench in the garage, plenty of space. I like the sink in the garage. That's always a nice touch. And a nice, nice, nice sorry yard there. So there you go. So those are three of the homes. And Kentfield, again, has just been one day on the market and there's no HOA here. So nicely done, three units here for us in South Salinas. So if you have any questions, be sure to give me a call. Talk to your lender, especially if you've been a buyer who's been in our market um, for a, quite a while and you're you have been struggling to compete with other offers, Right now is a really great opportunity. So if you've stayed this far for the video, the tip of the day is take advantage of seller credits. Talk about FHA buy downs of interest rates with your lender. See what options you have. Not everybody may have those options, but many of the government uh, low down, zero down programs that are out there all have the ability to allow a seller to give you a credit and assist you with your interest rates to get those lowered um, or prepay some interest rate. Calling It's called buying down points or buying down your rate. So talk to your lender about that. That may soften the blow of these higher interest rates and the seller can help participate in that by giving you that credit back, um, especially if maybe they've been sitting on the market. Now, you may not find that so much in, in, uh, Mon in Monterey Park area here or Mission Park, excuse me, 
but you know, take a look at what's on the market, look for something that's maybe been on the market a while, like that first condo we looked at, and those might be agreeable to that. So anyway, there's your buyer tip for the day. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, give me a call or message me. Um, if you've got any questions about the area, if there's anything I can do to help, be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and make sure you like and subscribe uh, to the video. Thanks again. Look forward to seeing you soon.